All right, guys, uh, this is part three of our review of Introduction to Polynomials. This is a test review, and so far we've covered all of this stuff. Terminology, adding and subtracting, multiplying polynomials, binomial expansion, Pascal's triangle. All right, those were the previous videos, and now we are up to dividing polynomials. So that's where we will begin with this video. All right, we learned two different methods for dividing polynomials, synthetic division and long division. Um, we'll do, let's do synthetic division for number 11 and 12, and we'll do long division for number 13. Uh, okay, synthetic division worked like this. You uh, would start off with a box, and so we have x minus 4. Imagine setting this equal to 0 and solving. You would get 4 for the answer, so that's what you put in the box. Then you take your coefficients. Um, l make sure that there are no missing terms. Do you see any missing terms? Yes. Okay, there's a missing term right here. Um, it goes f uh, degree 4, 3, hmm, where's the 2? 1, 0. So we will need to put in an extra term um, for the x squared term that's missing. So think of it as 0x squared right in there. OK, so anyway, so the coefficients are 1, negative 3, 0, negative 7, negative 14. Okay, uh, do not forget that missing term. Um, we'll put another box at the end. This is going to be your remainder. So the process is start by just bringing down this first number. So that's 1. Then you multiply and put the answer in the next spot. Always multiply by what's in the box. So 1 times 4 is 4. Put these together, uh, that's 1. 1 times 4 is 4 again. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Negative 7 plus 16 is 9. Uh, 9 times 4 is 36. Add those up, you get 22. So 22 is your remainder. Uh, all right, so remember, if I wanted to put the variables back in, it would be like this. Um, ignore the remainder for a minute. So uh, this 9 is going to be the constant. And then, if, so if I go one more over to the left, this will be my x term. And uh, this is going to be my x squared term. And this will be x to the third power. OK? Um, when you're doing synthetic division, the degree is always going to go down by 1. So if you had x to the fourth power, your new polynomial will have degree 3, third power. OK, so let's just recopy this uh, nice and pretty. So we will have um, x to the third power plus x squared plus 4x plus 9, OK? And now the remainder, for the remainder, you take your remainder and put it in the numerator. And you put it over the thing by which you are dividing. OK, so this should be the final answer for number 11. All right, we'll do the same thing with number, number 12. Uh, here's our box, and inside the box we'll put negative 1. Again, you pick this number, set this equal to 0, uh, and solve. You would get negative 1. That's why negative 1 goes in the box. Okay, now the coefficients. Are there any missing terms? No, 2, 1, 0, there are no missing terms. So. The coefficients are just 4, 5, 
and 1. Okay, so it's a short little problem. And uh, we will put a box on that last column for the remainder. So your first step is to just bring down that 4. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 5 plus negative 4 is 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And uh, 1 and negative 1 make 0. Okay, so there is no remainder, which means that x plus 1 divides evenly into um, this trinomial. Alright, in other words, um, x plus 1 is a factor of this trinomial. Um, we'll talk about that more later. Now let's put the uh, variables back in. So starting with the 1, this must be the constant. So that means this must be the x term. Okay, so that means the polynomial is um, 4x plus 1. And there was no remainder, so we don't need to do anything with that. Okay, so that's the answer to number 12. All right, now number 13, we need to do by long division. Synthetic division doesn't work for when you divide by a trinomial anyway. Um, so here we go. We've got x squared plus x minus 3. And we are dividing that into... Um, again, notice that there's a missing term, you guys, so be really, really careful. There's a missing term right here. It goes from degree 4 to degree 2. What happened to degree 3? Okay, so we're going to need a 0 term, 0x zero to the third power in between these two. So now we have 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now everything's there. So please don't forget your zero terms. Okay. So when I write this in, I will write 8x to the fourth power. And then plus 0x to the third power. Plus 2x squared minus 12x plus 9. Okay? All right, so here's how long division works. Um, we start off looking at the first term of each polynomial. So we'll look at the x squared and the 8x to the fourth power. And um, we're asking ourselves, um, x squared times what is going to give us 8x to the fourth power? Okay, so we need to get that 8 in there, so it's definitely going to be, um, we're going to need an 8. Okay, so um, actually, so I know I'm going to need an 8, I'll come back to that. Now, x squared times what will give you x to the fourth power? Well, x squared times x squared would make x to the fourth power. So I need an x squared up here. So put that together, I need 8 x squared. Now I erased it because I like to line up like terms. Um, so I'm going to put my 8x squared up here. Okay, above the in the x squared column. Alright, so x squared times 8x squared would give me 8x to the fourth power. So that's why we put that up there. Now once you uh, have the thing that goes up here, that first term, you take it and you do the distributive property with it. Okay, so I'm going to take this 8x squared and do the distributive property um, over the thing I'm dividing by. Um, so, 8x squared times x squared, of course, is going to give me um, is going to give me 8x to the fourth power. All right, we planned it we planned it that way. These two will always be the same. Now, 8x squared times x, okay, that's going to be 
8x to the third power. So 8x to the third power. Now if I do 8x squared times negative 3, that's going to make negative 24x squared. Okay? So at this point we need to subtract. Um, we subtract by changing the signs. So I'm going to make this negative and make this negative and I'm going to make this positive. Okay, that's how we subtract. Alright, so these terms are going to cancel out. Now I've got 0x to the third power and negative 8x to the third power. So put those together, I get negative 8x to the third power. 2x squared and 24x squared make 26x squared. And then I'm just going to bring down the other terms. So I'll have a negative 12x and plus 9. Now at this point we basically start over. Okay, so now this is my new first term. So I'm looking at my x squared and I'm looking at my 8, uh, I'm sorry, negative 8x to the third power. So once again, I am asking myself, um, I'm asking myself, x squared times what is going to give me negative 8x to the third power? So I'm going to need uh, negative 8 for sure. Okay, so I get the negative 8 happening. Uh, let's see, x squared times what will make x to the third power? Well, I just need one extra x. Okay, x squared times x would make x to the third power. So put it all together, negative 8x times x squared will make um, negative 8x to the third power. Okay, so once again, once I have this, I do the distributive property with it. Okay, so I'm going to take this negative 8x and I am going to distribute like this. Okay, so negative 8x times x squared is going to be negative 8x to the third power. Those two will always be the same. Negative 8x times x is going to be negative 8x squared. So negative 8 x squared. Negative 8x times negative 3 is going to be a positive 24x. Okay. Now, now it's time to subtract. We subtract by changing the signs. So this will become positive, this will become positive, this will become negative. So if we combine all those like terms, these will cancel. All right, um, this is going to become 34 x squared. This is going to become negative 36 x. And then I just bring down the plus 9. All right, so one more time we start over. Uh, and 34x squared is the new um, first term. So I'm going to ask myself, x squared times what is going to give me 34x squared? Well, clearly x squared times 34 would give me 34x squared. So I'm going to go ahead and put a plus 34. Now when you get to the constant, you know you're at the end of the line. Anything left after this is going to be the remainder. Okay, now as we've done before, um, every time you put a term uh, up here, you're going to turn around and distribute with it. Okay, so I'm going to take this 34 and I'm going to do the distributive property like this. OK, 
Okay. All right, so 34 times x squared, of course, is going to be 34x squared. Thirty four times x is thirty four x, and thirty four times negative three. All right, I need a calculator for that. Well, not you probably do, so let's go with that. Um, thirty four times negative three, negative three. That's negative one hundred and two. Okay, so this is negative 102. Okay, now it's time to subtract this by changing signs. So this is going to become negative, this is going to become negative, and this is going to become positive. These will cancel out. Okay, um, let's see, negative 30 and negative 30, that's negative 60. And then uh, 6 and 4, that's another 10. So that's negative 70. So I've got negative 70x. Um, 102 plus 9, uh, well, that's going to be 111. All right, so that's the end of the line. We already had the constant. That makes this the remainder. So we're going to take this negative 70x plus 111 and uh, put that over the thing that we are dividing by. And uh, that's going to be how we write our remainder. So um, let's put our final answer down here at the bottom. I don't have space for it up here. So let's see. Let's just take a look at this. All right, I'm just copying and pasting for my convenience. All right, so here comes the final answer. So I'm going to have 8x squared minus 8x plus 34. And then plus negative 70x plus 111 over x squared plus x minus 3. All right, so that will be your final answer for number 13. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you. All right, little review of that division business. And uh, that's long enough for, for one video, so um, that's going to be the end of uh, part three. Uh, we will be back with another video picking up from here let's see so we did division what's next next we're up to factoring okay we'll be pulling out GCF we'll be doing binomial times a binomial maybe some grouping I don't know just whatever we feel like but we'll be factoring on the next video